out here on the sick little mo in motion v12 this is in motion's latest iteration in the electric unicycle market they do scooters and stuff as well but this right here is called the in motion v12 for those of you that don't know um 1750 watt hour 2500 watt motor is packed in this little thing right here and that is that's what really makes this thing uh, amazing and it's because there's no other wheel out there that has the snappy response like this wheel does. And there just simply isn't, and there's not one that's gonna be made or coming out anytime soon that fits the exact bill that this, this wheel right here fits. And the reason I love it so much is, is simply because it does have that, that Sherman motor in it, which is extremely powerful. That 2500 watt motor is insane. And the fact that they were able to fit it in a wheel this small is just nuts. And like I've said before, what gives it that snappiness, just that snappiness um, off the line is the small diameter of the wheel combined with the extremely powerful motor. And you just get a fun machine. And it's unique. And the thing is, like I said, everybody's going on these 18 inch wheels, 19 inch wheels. Now we're looking at the 22 inch wheel on the Abrams, man. And one thing that I think we're getting away from is, is really why, like, a huge demographic of people really use these things. You know, there's, of course, people out there, they're all into the hobby, and the people that they're seeing on Facebook, in the forums, writing on YouTube, they're seeing people that are into this stuff, man, that are all into it, that devote, you know, hours of the day, uh, a lot of their time into writing, into creating content, and everything in between. But you gotta think, there's a lot of people out there that get these things simply to go commute on and it being a convenience factor because this thing is, once you get down, once you can ride one, you'll never be without one. You may go through phases where you don't ride quite as much, but you will always have one around and charged up and you will definitely use it at least, you know, once or twice a week, guys. Absolutely. And it's just what we're getting away from is they don't see the, the people that, that keep one charged up and use it seven times before they recharge it again. And they're not thinking about the people that are just using it to run a quick errand to go get some food or go take something to the post office. Or maybe, maybe they live in the city and they literally just use it to commute to work. And work's only four or five miles away and then you come back, that's a 10 mile ride every single day. But what they're getting away from definitely is that demographic of people and and I don't like don't like seeing that because we we still got to sell these things to people and everybody's not an extreme rider you know every everybody's not one of these people that rides it 60 miles at one time and and wants it to fly and all this other stuff but one thing that I really want companies to do, and I've said this many times before, is somebody that, that you know, tr makes a little bit of money off of each sale of these things is, why can't y'all make one that's a little bit less expensive for the, just a basic commuter out there? The guy that wants to go just 30 miles on a charge, like that M Super X, man, I've, I'll say it again. How many years have I been saying that the M Super X from Gotway was the best wheel ever made? The 1300 watt hour, M Super X was the simply the best electric unicycle ever made. I got on it and rode it today, and it is. It simply is the best electric unicycle ever made, hands down. It's, it's actually 1,230 watt hours, 100 volts, it's 18 inch wheel, and it's a 2,000 watt motor in that thing, and it simply rides good for the everyday commuter. The guy that's gonna be going on an hour ride a day and just flying as fast as you wanna go. and. You don't need all the extra bulk. You don't need all the extra weight. You don't need an, a, a 22 inch wheel. You don't need all that stuff. You can have plenty of fun and go just as fast as you need to with a smaller wheel like this with a little bit less battery. Granted, this, the battery in this thing's huge. 1700 watt hours is a ton. You can go forever on it. And I see people saying, you know, that's not gonna be enough range. Dude, that's a lot of range. I don't know how much y'all are riding every day, but that 1700 watt hours will get you pretty far on your on your day to day stuff. Of course, th those big excursions where you're just going to be going from sun up to sun down, something like the EXN or the Sherman is irreplaceable. And of course, I wouldn't want to get rid of those wheels to have this one. Uh, but if I was the standard person just getting into this hobby, this would be way more than enough for years, for years to satisfy me on battery, on range, on speed, 
on everything, man. And it's just very unique, too. Anybody that has other wheels that got this, I think that you would fall in love with it and ride this one more than so any, any what, of your So what other I love wheels. about this wheel is it's comfortable, easy. By easy, I mean just easy to get around, easy to get in and out the door, easy to just charge, get get on. It's just simple. Everything about it is just simple. I don't know what it is, but it, it's just something easy about this wheel that just you gravitate towards it every time you leave the house. And another th thing I really love about it is just the, s the snappiness of it. Just the overall 16-inch wheel just being able to just snap, like just uh, instantly take off. And this will take off up to 40 faster than any other wheel. It really will. It just thing just screams. Of course, it doesn't have like that 40 plus top speed or like, I mean, it'll go like 43, 44, but I'm saying that top speed jump there where we're getting around the 50 area. And you're not losing much on this, man. Like, you really aren't because you're not going to be riding at 50 miles an hour very much at all. You might do it for a spurt of a ride, but still, is that worth having a huge extra machine, all that extra battery weight, and then you get home with 80% charge left at the end of the day? So that's why I really, really enjoy this wheel, and it just fits the bill for me for pretty much. It really does remind me of, of, of the M Super X, but you can just tell that it is more powerful. I mean, even so that it's a smaller wheel, even though it's an in motion, and in motion, I looked at it more like a, you know a scooter company and not really performance unicycles and Gotway's always performance, but even so, man, this thing definitely, you can feel it, dude. There, that little motor in there, it, it works, dude, it works. It just, it, it simply works, and the build on this thing is nice. The batteries are encased well. Everything on it is, it, there's no, no complaints really. And then I think as soon as everybody has these in stocks, in stock, I think parts will be easy to find. The little head nose piece right there, all the plastic pieces that are going to get easily damaged over time from, I mean, hard crashes. You'd really have to crash this thing hard. But I don't think those panels will be expensive. I think they'll probably be like 45 bucks for the front and rear panel. Side panels will probably be like 65, 70 bucks. And, and that's pretty much all that's ever going to get damaged on this whole thing so and then the lcd screen man for sure if you get this thing guys definitely build some little thing i don't care if it's the ugliest thing in the world to put over this screen because one crash with an awkward uh rock on the ground i've gotten really lucky with the, the way i've crashed but just if it tumbled the right way and then spiked on a rock i mean it's a glass screen it's going to break so but that's the only way it would break is if it tumbled and and really like tumbled and it would have to hit a weird weird angle and it would have to hit something that was poking up on the ground just the way the way it's shaped it would have to hit like a uh, a rock or anything like that just basically like a rock that would knock into that screen but other than that I freaking love this little thing it shreds 43.5 mile per hour top speed six hours to 80 percent charge you have a 265 pound person up to a 265 pound person ride this thing 1750 watt hours of battery up to 70 miles of range if you're going like 20 miles an hour cruising speed and they're expected to come out and ship to your door in late october you can put the 100 dollars pre-order in right now in the link below and it is a 100.8 volt wheel with that 2500 watt motor like i said and it is probably the, the most powerful um, well-equipped wheel you're going to get at the price point right now i really think this is genuinely a great price point for this performance of a wheel right here. And it, there's, there's simply not much more to say about it. If all the wheels are, that are coming out, like the Commander and stuff like that, they're not going to have like the metal roll bars and essentially stuff like that. And you just want to get into the hobby and you're really turned off by the prices, go with one of these, dude. Definitely. You won't, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. Anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw the thumbs up. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.